What's up, my sweethearts? What it do? It's your girl, Jennifer Norellis. My sweethearts, get your lights all the way up. J for K, lights all the way up. Y'all ask for it, let's get it, okay? My sweethearts, y'all already know your girl, Jennifer M. Norellis, was going in on the Friends of Kanika Jenkins, right? Okay. We, then I went in and talked about Kanika hair, how it just don't sit right. Okay, my sweethearts. So next, I'm ready to show y'all some photos, and we were getting to this this um how she's in this freezer. All right, how it just don't set right. How it looked like Kanika was fighting, and we are gonna point out the the facts of what looked like she allegedly been fighting. Okay, we are gonna point out how it allegedly looked like she had been scuffling and fighting, or she been used like a mop. All right, my sweethearts, let's get it. So, my sweethearts, okay, as y'all y'all as all y'all know, they trying to rule Kanika Jenkins' death, a uh, uh, accident, us the people, we ain't slow, we got kids of our own, and we don't feel as though this was an accident, so we keep on going, you know, and I'm with it too, so let's run this case like cardio, over here, we ain't playing with her, we ain't playing lies, and we ain't doing none of that, so let's get it, alright? Y'all gonna help your girl Jennifer and the realest run this and prove that look like she was beat down. My sweethearts, I'm not gonna show too many pictures. This girl already been did wrong enough. I'm gonna show a couple of pictures for educational purposes, okay? So copyright disclaimer and all that gonna be up and all that. So let's get it, alright? Like I said, I'm not gonna show too explicit of Kanika. Okay, this is Kanika James we looking at, right? All this is dirt. And the, and the phone look like it's maybe something else. But this is dark black. All this is black. All this is black. All that. Okay. All that is dark black. And I'm going to come right here. Just a little bit. See that? Dark black. Okay. Now my sweethearts. What I just showed y'all. All that's black dirt. Black dirt. You hear me? This girl, this floor right here, she got that from that floor. She was fighting. Kanika got down here to this freezer or whoever got her to this freezer. And this girl was fighting. When she was walking in them hallways, that girl clothes was not dirty. Her pants was not dirty. Now, this is how I know when she got down here, she did. She got the scrapping, fighting for her life. Not playing or niggas touched her. Like the letter said, they probably picked up, slammed her up. And I'm going to prove something else. This is how I know she was fighting down here. In the dirty kitchen. Because the floors upstairs ain't dirty. The floors all through the halls not dirty. It's, nah. This floor here is dirty. Uh, oily. Grimy. You know. This is where the marks had to come from. And let me show y'all something else. This is why I'm on it. Her tennis got black dirt marks. Her pants got black dirt marks all on it. But wait until I show y'all Kanika jacket. I'm trying to be real, you know, easy. Then look at the jacket. Clean. Clean. Kanika jacket is clean, my sweethearts. Kanika, that jean jacket is clean. If that girl, let me tell y'all something. If this girl would have got in here, like, just walked in a freezer on her own, walked in there, and just, like, went crazy in there, the jacket, her hair, her pants, everything have been dirty. Everything. The back of Kanika jacket not even dirty. It's not even dirty. It's just a regular jacket. Her back of her pants, her side of her pants, that's how I'm telling you. That's how I know they did more with her, like, with the legs and, uh, like, what she was kicking and fighting. Y'all, I'm telling y'all right now, this not making sense. Because the jacket would be just as dirty as her pants. That's how I know they, they did more on her legs. Like, they picked up, slammed her more, like, on the, on the legs, on that leg side. Uh, that's why it sounds just about right. This don't make no sense. This girl jacket is not dirty. Just her arm sides, away, like, like her legs. This is unbelievable. Uh-uh, I got to show that. that. That's dirt. That's not even like, that's dirt. 
like she went through World War Eight down there. That's exactly what it looked like to me. What did you do to her, Monifa? Straight up. That supposed to be like your best friend. You out there with her. That is not your best friend. You was jealous. That's why you wanted to be like her. My sweetheart. And then that lead me back to. That's why when I go into her records. The witness. The uh, witness statement. That's, that's right there. You know. The allegedly witness statement that ain't real. But it's right here in the records. In her records. In Kanika Jenkins' witness statement records, when you go through all of this this Kanika Jenkins stuff, you'll see this the uh the uh the letter my, my the witness statement my sweethearts the witness statement and we are gonna go through this because guess what half that witness statement is real and half of it is not I don't hear it like you go through all uh, Kanika Jenkins uh. Her case, my sweetheart, you see the witness statements. You see everybody's statements. So my thing is, if these witness statements fake, false, true or not, who is we to say, oh, this is fake. That's not real. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know what's real. We don't know none of this stuff real. What happened? We don't. So we're going to run it down. Okay, my sweetheart, on September 9th, 2017, about maybe 2.30, and see the times add up. She got there at 12. Did they say she was in there at 12? Come on. One o'clock, dry drinking. Two, uh, 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 Shamaya and them. Hey, um, Kanika, what's going on? Um, um, Mama Shamaya said, uh, Kanika was get was out there in the hallway. Hey, Kanika, what's wrong? So why this can't be something? Let's get it. I went 2.30. I went to the Crown Plaza Hotel to chill with my boy Macho, who works at the Midnight Security, maybe twice a week. I go there to spark up with Macho on his break. Why that can't be real? People, they, they don't smoke. The hotel already litty lit lit. Yeah, the hotel is lit. The hotel already lit. Uh, What's up? They doing whatever they want. Having parties, smoking weed. They are allowing Kanika and them to smoke grass up in the room. Get your lights up, my sweetheart. So why that can't be real? Why he can't go down there maybe twice a week and go and spark up blunts and stuff with my show? They already doing it. They letting the guests smoke it. Miss me with that. So that's why I believe it. Let's keep going, my sweetheart. We go down to the kitchen area that is closed, which it was closed, and we smoke up in the cooler. Makes sense. That's why they in the cooler so nobody won't smell it. Let's keep going. Usually, it's just me and Macho. But on this night, there were an older man who looked like a janitor smoking with us. It could show sure us the janitor. Uh, the perv with the bloody hands. The man running around giving tails. I'm just saying. I know that was security, but. Macho introduced us, but I forgot his name. So maybe 15 to 20 minutes into our session, here comes some drunk chick walking into the cooler. Everybody, including the girl, stopped and stared. The girl looked drunk and a little surprised. But when she looked at Macho, she seemed to recognize him. Then she started to smirk walking towards us. Why that shocking? Didn't they say they was there at the six? Can you get them parties in there? This ain't new. So that's what I'm saying. Why that can't be real? She was drunk. They they allegedly got cameras pointing at Kanika going to the kitchen. I'm trying to show these facts of what we saying, right? That's what they showing us. So why we can't accept this? They showing us her walking. So why this can't be real? She asked Macho what he was doing down here. Smoking that stink shit. Then Macho giggled. And asked her what she was doing down here. That can't be real. 
Kanika did get left. She almost fell to the side and said those bitches taking too long with her shit and she needs some air. Why that can't be real? Why that cannot be real right there? The girls was taking long. Kanika didn't play much as them girls played. Kanika was serious. How you know Kanika didn't get mad because uh Monifa was playing around like a fucking rat? How y'all know that? She was talking with her eyes closed and it was hard to hear her. She told Macho she feels funny. Then Macho grabbed her by her waist and told her he will make her feel better. Macho started looking at us, smiling, and started taking her pants down. Guess why I believe that? Because Kanika is only dirty from the bottom. Like I said, her jacket is not dirty. Her pants is dirty. She could barely resist. And that's about right. Wasn't she sitting there walking, leaning all to the side, uh, all that? So guess what? If she was imparable like that, it would be easy for somebody to take her pants down, right? Come on. She was drugged up, drunk, whatever. She couldn't handle herself. So uh, she couldn't resist. She could barely resist, but she was asking him what's, what he's doing, right? So he taking our pants down and she asking him what he doing. Like, what you doing? Macho started sex from behind and her body was limp with no energy. Do y'all hear that? This is why... The girl pants is down. Come on, y'all. Stop acting slow with this. Like I said, nobody got to believe, oh, the letter this, the letter that, the letter fake. Okay. The letter may be some parts of it fake. But you best to believe it's some realness all up in that. Macho started sex from behind. Just about right. She got the little booty out, the pants on. That's why he got him. Yes, that's what they did. And her body was lit with no energy. And soon me and the other guy went. I felt stupid. I bet you did. Macho went to. Macho went to, again, to go again. But started getting crazy. And bit her titty. Okay. So I guess the bit her titty is a lie also right. Didn't a girl have a mark on her breast? Didn't they say her boobies was out? Come on. See, the thing is, when we get some facts in our face, we don't know how to act. When we get someone telling us maybe half the truth, no one want to hear it. I want to hear it all. Because some of it adds up to why her boobies out, pants down. Everyone asks, why Kanika pants down? Everyone asks that. It looked like she was getting raped. That's where that came from. So why this can't be real? Why this can't be real? It's giving you some clarification of what happened to her pants. Everyone thought she got robbed. Why her pants is inside out? Why her pockets inside out? That's what they were saying. Why change on the ground? So don't miss me with these lies, cause I ain't I ain't for it. I'm ready for this countdown. I'm trying to go for this for these culprits. Stop playing with me. This is exactly what niggas want to do. They want sex from the girl. She looking naked, drunk. They want what they want. I'm I'm listening and I'm believing what I believe. You with Jennifer and the realest, You with me? You're not. You're not. Let's get it. Straight up. Um, Macho went to again. But started getting crazy. And bit her titty. And that's when she finally. Got some energy. And grabbed Macho by the face. And smacked him. 
See that? Grabbed him by the face because he was acting a fool and smacked her. I guess that can't retrieve her, right? Because she was a fighter. Macho got mad, so he picked her up and slammed her right on her face. So I guess that couldn't be true either, right? Once again, her jacket ain't even dirty, so he had to put it on something. It don't look like he was tussling around using her jacket as a mop because the jacket is not dirty as her pants. I just showed y'all that. On her face. That's why her, her teeth on the side is chipped. I don't care. That have to be. She started to bleed, and we told Macho to chill, but he was pissed. Pussy. Yeah, he was pissed. Pissed because she ain't won him. He put the bag over her head, and she was on the floor fighting. Let me tell y'all something right now. You can miss me with if you don't believe it. I don't want to hear it. He put, let me see. He put the bag over her head. And she was on the floor fighting. I'm going to show you something right now. I'm going to show you something right now. She put the bag over her head. And she was fighting, right? Let me show you something right now. Give me one minute. Show you something right now. It must be all. I ain't want to be really explicit, but this is Kanika right here in the freezer. So what is these? These not the bag pieces? On her nail? So these not the black pieces of bag? You know, I'm just, I just want to, I'm asking. You know, these not the black pieces of bag? Come on, my sweethearts. We seen the black bag on her white nail. That's black bags in the freezer. Then it's a black bag in the freezer by her shoe, my sweethearts. You know, come on, let's get it. My chose to chill, but he was pissed. He put the black, he put the bag over her head, and she was on the floor fighting. Then we stopped him and took it off. Huh? See that? Look at that. That ain't real. Yeah, all right. That's why her hair look all sucked in, macked in. Like, yeah, I don't want to hear this. All this adding up, to, it adding up. It looked like it. It looked like it. Then Macho picked her up and threw her in one of the freezers. Yup, it looked like she got thrown in there too. She was still alive but was coughing and crying. That's why her eyes look crying like, like all that. Come on. Stop acting like this don't sound really did anything. It sound really did anything. It sound really did anything. Man, where my light at? I don't care. I ain't sleeping on it. I ain't acting dumb. Where my light at? Macho turned the freezer on and shut the lights off and told, excuse me, and told us to let's go. To let's go. You hear this? To let's go. Somebody locked in. I don't want to hear this. This girl ain't slow to lock herself in there. Kanika ain't no retard. I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear this. The next day, Macho told me she died and the family and friends were causing trouble. But not to worry, because his guy would hold us down. Look at that. Will you look at this? I don't care what no one says. Would you look at this? This is wrong, and it sound about right. I see people talking about it, and this girl won't let me sleep. So I want to step up. I can't take it. She wasn't supposed to die. We were just having fun. That's having fun. Raping women. Touching on women. Fondling women. That's fun. Must be all. That's part one. I'm going to keep on going. I'm not giving up this letter. I'm not. It's your girl Jennifer Marillas. Come on over if you try and do the KJ for K. And I'm going to keep on running with this letter. Because everything in this letter to me sound about right to anything of Kanika. And what it looked like happened to her. Yes. It looked like it exactly happened to her. She looked like what is being read. How could you not see or understand that? 
And it's your girl Jennifer from the Realest Mouse. We all like, share, and subscribe. Let's get it.